Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. Let's talk about packing for your rifle class. This is going to be the loadout video for Citizen Rifle 1. Citizen Rifle 1 is obviously a course where we learn to shoot your rifle and we spend all day doing that. It's a one day course that we offer a couple times a year and I hope that you're considering coming out to join us and that's why you're watching this video. So let's go through it. Uh, first thing I'd like to say is that I do have a list of all the requirements or things that you need to pack. I have a packing list on our website that I'll link in the description. But uh, please feel free to download that and reference that as I think that will be helpful in packing for your course. So the first thing you're going to need, obviously, uh, is a rifle because the course is called Citizen Rifle 1. So have a rifle. Uh, whether that's an AR-15 or an AK or a SCAR, if you're really fancy or whatever, but bring your rifle. Uh, your rifle, of course, should have a couple things on it. It should have a sling, because that's important. You're going to need that. Uh, and then it should also be zeroed. Please show up with a zeroed rifle. It's going to make your life a lot easier. We will confirm zero, but if you show up with a completely unzeroed rifle, uh, you're going to have a rough day. So make sure your rifle is zeroed, you know, 50, 100 yards, whatever your preference is, but make sure that sucker is zero. If you have a second rifle, it would be a very good idea to bring it. Uh, almost every rifle class I've taught, someone's rifle has gone down. Uh, so it would behoove you to have a replacement, possibly for yourself, possibly for your friend that you just made in class and their rifle went down, but have a second rifle if you can. Now, if you can't, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll deal with it, we'll get on. But if you do have a second rifle, I would highly recommend bringing that. It can save you a lot of hassle. There's nothing more frustrating than being at a course and trying to learn and have equipment fail on you. It is very frustrating and I've been there and I've experienced that and I would not wish that for you. The next thing you'll need obviously is a weapon lube and weapon tools, right? So this is just a basic AR-15 cleaning kit with the rod and lube and all that stuff in here. This is a toothbrush and a rag. Really, this should get you through, right? We're gonna make sure to lube up your gun really well at the beginning of the day, because AR-15s love to run wet, and then we'll just go from there. But if you have a well-lubed AR, chances are you're gonna avoid most of your problems. The next thing, of course, is ammo and magazines. So make sure you bring at least 500 rounds. That is the minimum shooting requirement for the course. If you wanna bring more bullets, please knock yourself out, but we'll end up shooting about 500 rounds for the day. Also, you're gonna to need to bring about four loaded magazines, at least. Again, if you have more, bring them, but you're gonna to want to always, when you ever show up to any course, bring your magazines loaded. Don't show up with unloaded magazines. That's just silly and it makes it look like you don't know what you're doing. Uh, so show up with your magazines loaded. When it comes to gear, please feel free to bring as much or as little gear as you desire. This is kind of the middle of the road setup, right? This right here, I just have a battle belt set up with a couple mags and a pistol, which we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, and this, you know, you can really run all day and have a really successful day because you got access to your magazines and you have your pistol and, and you can just run with your rifle in this. And that's not a problem. If you want to wear full on plates and a helmet, you can do that here. Uh, please show up with your plates and your helmet. If you want to run a chest rig, knock yourself out. If you want to run your kind of webbing LBE setup, please help yourself as much or as little gear as you want to run. If you just want to show up with your rifle and a magazine in your back pocket, we can make that work too. I don't want to specify how much or how little gear you need to wear because for your competence level, that might vary. And you just might want to try something new and try a new piece of kit on. And what better way to do that than at a class? So the gear requirements in that sense are wide open and I encourage people to run as slick, no gear as they want, or as full kitted out as they desire. For a pistol, a pistol is actually optional for this course. Uh, you do not have to carry a pistol. If you are an American and you desire to carry one, of course, knock yourself out. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Uh, we do do a little bit of pistol shooting, but like I said, it's not required. So if you just have a rifle and you don't have a pistol or you don't wanna drag your pistol or whatever, and you just wanna bring the rifle, that's totally fine. Uh, I don't wanna force anybody to force a pistol on their setup if they don't already have one there. So bring your pistol if you got it, 
Uh, we'll, like I said, we'll do a little bit of transitions and shooting, stuff like that. But by and large, of course, it's a rifle course, so we'll be focused on that. As always, if you do decide to bring a pistol, please bring a hard-sided holster. That's a safety thing. Chances are, if you have this level of setup, you have a hard-sided holster anyway, and I don't really need to tell you that. If you do choose to bring that pistol, also make sure you have at least three magazines for the pistol, so one, two, and then three in the gun. Uh, make sure that you're able to maintain that and you have about 100 pistol rounds because we'll need about that, maybe a little less. Make sure you bring note-taking gear. This is my fancy notebook cover with pens and a notebook inside it. Bring note-taking gear and take notes. It amazes me how few people take notes at classes, both classes that I have taught and classes that I have been to. But you need to take notes. Uh, because you're there to learn, you've paid money, you've taken the time, and you are not gonna remember everything. So even if that's just writing down in between drills what the drill was, what you did, something you learned, whatever, but take tons of notes when you go to classes to make sure that you maximize your time and money there. Food, obviously bring a lunch. This is just representative of packing a lunch and some water. I usually tell people to bring about a gallon of water. Uh, usually we do this course during the summer and it's hot and we're running around all day, so bring a ton of water, snacks, food, you know, the sky's the limit on that. Lastly, but not least, you need your PPE gear. So make sure you have hearing protection if you wanna double up with foamies on the inside and then over the ear protection, that's great. Uh, bring your eye protection because these are really important. You're not gonna be allowed to shoot without that. Uh, knee pads, I usually recommend knee pads because we do do some kneeling and moving and stuff like that and if you have an old injury and or you just want to protect and save your knees, knee pads are a good idea. Uh, along that line, I also recommend to have a set of gloves. Um, your rifle will get hot during the day because we're going to do a lot of shooting and gloves go a long way to keeping that heat off your hands. Uh, sunblock and insect repellent are always a good idea. You know, if you want to wear a baseball cap and sunglasses, that's great too. Uh, or a schmog around your neck, something like that. To, again, to keep that sun off you. But bring sunblock, bring insect repellent. These two are pretty much required in any class you ever go to. You're going to need them. Last but not least, you are required to carry at least a TCCC approved tourniquet. So a real deal tourniquet, uh, either a cat from North American Rescue or a soft T wide from... Uh, I think Chinhook Medical is who makes the, the soft tee wide. Uh, this is a ratcheting tourniquet. This is the R2 ratchet tourniquet. But bring a real deal T triple C approved tourniquet. You have to have that on your person all times at all times during the course. Uh, and preferably a full IFAC. Again, if you own all this gear, you should own a full IFAC anyway. IFAC, for those of you who don't know, is an individual first aid kit. Uh, I really like the kits from Dark Angel Medical. Uh, if you don't have one, you should just buy one. You can use your HSA dollars. If that's not something you can get before the course, you at least have to get a tourniquet. A tourniquet will cost 30 bucks. And again, that's something that you should absolutely have anyway because this is just life-saving equipment if something were to go wrong. Last thing, I do have it on the list, but I don't have it out here as a lawn chair. We do shoot outside and we do take breaks and it's always a good idea to be able to sit down and take a break when you can. This gives you a rough idea of kind of the bare minimum requirements for the class, if you bring all this stuff out here, you're gonna have a very successful day. Uh, like we talked about, when it comes to gear, please feel free to bring as much or as little as you desire. You can, of course, add to this list and bring additional stuff. You can bring as much stuff as you want and you can fit in your vehicle. Uh, but this is really what we will need and use during the day. So I really hope that you join us for Citizen Rifle One, and we'll see you there. Do brave deeds and endure.